Hi, welcome to another product walkthrough video of RightsWatch. We will see how you're able, in this case, to classify information and classify files, in this case, um, an Excel spreadsheet and a notepad with meeting notes, um, just because those files are being attached to a new email message in Outlook. So when you open Outlook and you create a new email message, just by the fact that these unclassified files are attached to this email message, RightsWatch will automatically apply the uh, content, context, and metadata where policy rules to automatically classify the files. You can see that uh, this file is automatically classified according to whatever um, the, those content-aware rules are. And just because you are now dragging and dropping the meeting notes in a notepad file format into this email message, that other uh, attachment will also be automatically classified. So uh, individually, each one of these files will be classified according to the content, context, or metadata where policy rules that were set up uh, by this company to be applied to office files or notepad files. Um, just because I'm sending this file or this email to Paul Brown, automatically the system defaults into an internal classification but I'm also adding a, a Gmail account and by doing that and by adding some content to the body you will see that an alert is shown to me to say that you know this Gmail account is not uh, authorized to receive an email message that has been classified as internal so you have the classify as public you have the remove recipients options you can downgrade the classification level in order to um, allow phil at gmail.com to receive and open the body of this email it's, it's the email in itself i should say or as you will see uh, you can remove phil as a recipient in order to allow that to happen so first let's uh, downgrade this email to public and when you click the send button there's a mismatch between the data classification of the attachments and the public classification of the email and according to this company policy that cannot be so in order for this email to be sent there needs to be a match between the two things now when you do that that Phil at Gmail will not be able to do it. So what you can do is to automatically remove Phil from the recipient list, classify the email as confidential, and click send in order to allow Paul Brown to have access not only to the email, but to, for the two attachments that are attached to the email in itself.